My dear friend Frank Richter, dear future ambassadors of Cascais, Excellencies, it is with my great pride and honor that I stand here today from my home to address an amazing audience from all over the world in this Oasis Extraordinary Meeting 2020 to announce that after the huge success of several, several Oasis Global Meetings in Cascais, and besides the fact due to COVID, Oasis Global didn't take place in this June, that Cascais will maintain its commitment and will be hosting again the Oasis Global Meeting in 2021. From June the 5th to the 8th, we will be waiting for you here in Portugal. Challenging times where we have all lived in the past months, and Cascais in Portugal was no exception. We have made everything, literally everything, to protect our most precious asset, our people, and of course, their jobs. Cascais was the first city in Portugal to receive a plane full of protecting material, ventilators, and everything that you can imagine directly from China in the early stage of this pandemic we immediately created a fund to help our companies. We closed every park, every playground. We implemented mandatory remote work and every single measure to protect our people. Also, in early March, we created two COVID test centers and we were the first city in the world to initiate tests to 100% of our population. We know that we are innovative, groundbreaking, and here the public sector works alongside with the private sector. In that order, we started to implement several measures to help our companies. We have exempted all city taxes for companies. We have also exempted all rents in public buildings. We are offering masks on public transportation. And by the way, public transportation in Cascais, it's for free. Also in tourism, our main industry, we are an example. Actually, we are an example in the world. For example, all our museums are for free now. The public transportation is also for, pre for free and also is the parking in the entire city. In order to help the industry, we also exempted city taxes for hotels and similars. We are now also offering free tours to Cascais by tourism professionals that otherwise wouldn't be in very difficult situation nowadays. In order to provide a safer environment to our tourists in case of a suspicion situation, we are testing tourists and staff immediately after our phone rings. And this is called public service. Next year, we will be hosting again in Cascais this amazing event. And we are very happy with that because in this year of absence, we didn't change that much. In Cascais, we are still the best place to live one day or a lifetime. So we didn't change much. In Cascais, we still don't allow construction at our natural park. And this one is one third of our territory. In Cascais, we still have the best fish in the world. In Esriel, a little parish of our municipality, you can still feel the atmosphere of the spies and you can still imagine Ian Fleming writing his first lines of his first book, 007, Casino Royale, just by looking at the real casino, the Casino Esriel. Nothing has changed here. In Cascais, you will feel the same cosmopolitan atmosphere of the 40s, where exiled kings from all over Europe established themselves here during the Second World War. Now, we call them neighbors, and they are 20% of our population, mostly CEOs like yourselves that have chosen Cascais to live. Cascais continues to be the charm of the Atlantic coast with all its little palaces, the amazing beaches, the seven golf courses. We increased from 14 to 18 museums. We have changed here, sorry. 
The same regatta fields are still here. Actually, they are one of the best in the world. And the same racetrack where Formula One and MotoGP used to happen. Another thing that didn't change in Cascais was the warm people of Cascais. The entrepreneurial environment where everything happens. And we created an investment agent to help you to invest in Cascais. An agency that will guide you and help you with the city and the government to make an easier process for the establishment of your business. In Cascais, we still love to talk about business, to do business, to facilitate business, to integrate. We still don't have the space to install big factories. Actually, we don't want big factories, but we still have the space for your house, your office, and for sure, your family and your children. And if you choose to raise your children here, we already have three universities, but in 2022, we will have five. We know that education is the future. So we are creating new brilliant minds in several areas in order to provide you the best of the best, in order for them to work in your companies. Culture is also a base of our territory. And besides our 18 museums, we also have the only symphonic orchestra managed by a city. Ladies and gentlemen, and dear future ambassadors of Cascais, when you arrive to Portugal, enjoy the 30-minute ride from the airport, located in our Portugal's capital, Lisbon, right in the heart of Lisbon. And enjoy that ride to the best place to live one day or a lifetime. Enjoy the spirit, enjoy the atmosphere, enjoy the relaxed business environment. Inve envision your family living in Cascais, because I strongly believe that are only two people, two kinds of people in the world, the ones that live in Cascais and the ones that want to live in Cascais. So be ready to invest, because I'm sure that our government will be ready to talk, and so will we. Because if we are talking about the future, in Cascais, we have a word to say. Thank you very much. And thank you, my dear friend, Frank Richter. As you know, we are ready to host you, to host your guests, and to host your amazing event, Oracis Global Event, in June 2021. Dear future ambassadors of Cascais, I will see you soon in Cascais for a day or for a lifetime. Thank you very much.